They're accusing him of pulling the party apart and threatening its future existence. Jeremy Corbyn's critics are many as he causes open warfare within Labour. But this veteran campaigner is unperturbed and struck back at one of his biggest adversaries, Tony Blair, who branded him a mortal danger. Democracy is about people, is about participation, is about people joining in and being excited by this whole change in the Labour Party. We don't do personal attacks, we don't do abuse, we don't do personal criticisms. Never have, never will. Life is too short for that. We do policies. Last night, the former Prime Minister intensified the fight against Mr Corbyn, warning that Labour is walking with eyes shut over the cliff's edge and that the party faced annihilation if he became leader. Today, one of the candidates echoed his sentiment, saying the contest had turned into a battle for the soul of the party. His are the wrong answers for the future, that they aren't radical and they aren't credible. And they won't change the world. They will keep us out of power and stop us changing the world. Later, Yvette Cooper told me it was time to fight back. Why didn't you do this weeks ago to stop the momentum building behind Jeremy Corbyn? Well, I've been setting out the sort of ideas that I have, like universal childcare, so that you don't have families being stretched and strained, or how you invest in double investment in science. All of those but you haven't been taking on Jeremy Corbyn, which is what you're doing now, and you could have done it weeks ago. Well, I think doing this is the right thing to do. Look, I, I know that there will be some people who will say, well, that's going to lose your votes because you're taking on the person who's the most popular candidate in this election. But in the end, I just think you've got to be honest with people. Her nearest rival, though, turned his fire on her, arguing any criticism of Mr Corbyn is criticism of party supporters. Going negative may actually misread the mood of the party because it looks like the party hierarchy uh, is saying that anybody who wants to vote for Jeremy Corbyn is misguided. Well, I don't see it that way. You know, the party is crying out for a change. It's sick of politics the way it's been in recent times. So the tough talk has begun just hours before ballot papers are sent out and Yvette Cooper, indeed all three contenders, are all too aware of the hard slog ahead to halt the Corbyn juggernaut.